island, not the island, is this island. If you see the aerial view or the aerial photo of Snoopy Island, it looks like Snoopy in the cartoon animation episodes of Snoopy. That's where the name came from. There's another hotel. I have forgotten the name of this hotel. If you come to this hotel, you can have easy access to this island. Many ways of getting to this island. You can either use a boat like that one over there. You can use a canoe like many of the people are doing. There's another boat on the other side. Or you can swim to this island. We are getting closer, but today it's a bit hard because the sea is rough. Just a few minutes now. Some of my tips for anyone who is planning to swim to this area. If you're planning on swimming, not using a boat, you have to be a strong swimmer and very fit. There's a distance from, from the shallow to this place. So, best advice. Don't swim alone, swim with someone or in a group, then you should be able to switch stroke. You try back stroke, you do brain stroke, and twist time so that you can relax the muscles. Don't use the same set of muscles for this whole distance. We are getting closer, you can see the boat. If you pay for the boat to get you to that point, then you can get up and see the corals and the fish. There's very good marine life. So we're getting close to the island. Where well, you see that white sign for? It's just like a landing site. Close to this island, there's a lot of rocks. So you better be careful. If you swim so low, you can hit a rock. And there's only one small spot where you see that sign post. So you have to aim for that. That's the place you can rest and then take on your journey going back. Otherwise, standing anywhere up, up, out of that, you can get yourself hurt. The water is so clear, you can look and see the flow. So there's only a very small spot for resting. It's uh, this wide. Apart from this, the, all, the other areas have rocks and, uh, uh, and corals. So this is the only place you can rest. If you decide to swim to this island, it's better to come with someone, not alone. Or get a scuba diving kit. I'm going to try to show you some of the corals. Since I don't have the kit, it's going to be hard for me, but I'll try my best. I'll use the camera to make sure, to make sure I can see something before I go back. <laughs> 